Yo guys, new vlog. Um, wait. Something Yo guys, on. new vlog. I feel a bit better now. I've got my FC top on. Um, Kidding into Harriers today. Um, in Haley's car. Um, just got grabbed some food. I had a McDonald's and I had a massive pancake from this gym place. Um, yep, I have got different glasses. Yeah, so um, Kidder Minster today should be good. I'm interviewing the TV people. That's the UMTV. Leave a link in the description to their channel. Okay, so guys, we've just arrived at the ground now. Hat, new scarf because my mum forgot my other one. Um, still got my other one. I just forgot it, so probably not going to score anyway. Um, Kidder Minster, tough, tough um, team to play against. A good team as well. Um, should be quite an interesting match. I'm excited. Um, okay, so guys, I'm just going to show you where we are going. We are going to, like, the Bannister. I'll show you in a minute. Why the film at CUM TV? We are going up there at the United against racism. Okay, guys, um, at half time, we are going to go up to, like, the thing where the film at CUM TV. Um, Kidderminster players are out. Um, because Sam, the guy who's helping me like get up there, isn't here yet, so he'll be here at half time. That's when I can do the interview at half time. So yeah, it should be good. So um Number seven, two weights. Number eight, James McWilkin. Number nine, Andre Jack.
Four ones or something, there's a special number for them, but they're the same lip mics that the BBC use. So we, we keep scouring eBay, and when they turn up cheap on eBay, we, we grab them. But Keg will show you how you use them. So they have um, a little screen guard on them, like that, which you can clip on and off. And they're called lip mics because you put them around to picture lip mics like that when you talk to get a, a very clear voice. But as soon as you move it away from your mouth, it, it doesn't pick it up. So there's a massive difference from here. I can hear it really clearly in my headphones. But if he moves it to there, he almost disappears. So all that means is you get two people stood, sat next to each other like this, both with a mic each, and they can be shouting into the mics, but not being picked up on each other's mic. The other thing that these mics do is because they only pick up things very close, they don't pick up all the noise in the background from the crowd and from maybe players or fans saying naughty words in the background. So you, that's why you get a very clear voice on the college. Yep. So um, next question, how did you get involved with FCUM TV? Um, well, 
I was dared to do it, as a bet almost, uh, by one of the radio team. Uh, and my first game away was uh, Winsford, 10 years ago now. And my first commentator I did it with was Roger Giggs. Um, what match um, or like goal did you um, like go the most mental one? There's different kinds of mental. There's mental happy mental and there's mental angry mental. And I've, a few times at Gig Lane, I have thrown the mic down and ran down the stairs in the stand on my own to shout at the referee when I was angry when I thought he'd done something wrong. And the happiest maybe, or I don't know, there's too many to mention. Uh, remember the, gay, the goal that got us promoted at Curzon Ashton? Uh, not the end of last season, the season before when I got promoted to the National League North, the header. That was a really good one. Uh, the, and maybe not winning goals, once where we've come from behind to the very famous game where we came from behind to have a, I think it was a 5-5 draw, one game. So the final equaliser to Africa, that was a really good goal. And um, the last question, what's the score going to be? You see, I've got a number of nicknames, and one of my nicknames is Kiss of Death Keg. Because if I predict that we'll win, we won't win. So I can't predict we're going to win. So I'm going to say nothing. Because if I do, we will end up losing. And everybody will blame me. I blame him as well. Go on. I reckon it won't win too much. Kiss of death. Yeah. Okay, guys, so um, that's the end of the interview. So, um, yeah. I've ended up staying with the commentary team now, so you're going to get an uh, amazing view from the game and I'm going to get really wet, so... Um... Yeah, I just finished my, uh, I did the full second half of the Brighton there, that was really fun, um, big thanks to the TV guys, um, when it comes out I'll leave a link into the description because the video will probably be out before my video or my video will be out before their video because I'm uploading my video tonight and obviously they've got a lot more footage than me so those take like, a longer time, welcome to the bar, that was really good, I didn't get much film in the second half but I will leave a link in the description to SC1 TV and um, I just got back in the bar that the thing with the TV people I did the full second it was, it was just real good to say that much I'm um, going to go in the bar now waiting for um, Kieran to get here not today so um, yeah I'm going to end the vlog here please like, subscribe well, comment. Listen, that was actually not the ending sorry about that um, I think um, not playing Kieran playing right he's his top player um, great player in fact Hopefully next week it will start. Um, Tamworth next week. Um, might do a bit with the rear. Um, I'm about to get way too close. Might do a bit more with the TV next week as well. Um, Kidderminster again looking for that playoff spot, and they are a fantastic team. So um, yeah.